the evolution of domed structures. What is a domed structure? Basically, some kind of a gentle sloping uplifted feature. And this is generally localized, not as large, not like ranges. These are up walked. So these are called as domes. On these domes, there are rivers. There are rivers. There are rivers. There are rivers. And in time, how does the dome evolve? So dome structures, the discussion, if you open up page number 182, mein hai, the part of, again, structural geomorphology, page number 182. How do dome structures evolve? Dome structures evolve. So it starts with, again, so if you read the answer here, first explain the origin of the dome feature. How did the dome feature evolve? How did it begin? Give me the origin. Origin could be thermal upwarping. Thermal upwarping. You can draw a sketch to show what it may look like. The land swells out because of some internal tectonic reason. And thereafter, there are stages in their evolution. Again, remember, this is an example of application of Davis model. Remember that this is also a hypothetical. The stages in reality are not always as definite. Okay, explain the origin. So it says page 182, page 182, first column, last section, it says topographic expressions of domed structure. Dome structures result either due to upwarping of the crustal surface affected by diastrophic force or due to intrusion of magma into superficial rocks. Basically, some kind of thermal process, some kind of tectonic process, some kind of lava moving up, the land probably gets pushed out. And there are many forms of such domes. They can be suesta, they can be hogbacks, and so on. It's a dome feature because of upwarping, it says. Okay, that is where the process starts. And I said, we can study the evolution by applying Davisian model. But then again, this is a hypothesis. This is a possibility, but not necessarily the reality of how things evolve in a domal structure. Next, what are the stages? You start with the initial and the youthful stage. So in the initial youthful stage, what we have is development of centrifugal drainage then what happens is centrifugal drainage moves headwards because of headward erosion. And then what happens is the central dome collapses. The collapse could also be related to thermal downwarping. It can be related to subsidence. Essentially, there is a domal upliftment this domal upliftment starts having centrifugal drainage and ultimately the central part collapses. So maybe like this it collapses. This moves backward. A river here, this is having headward erosion. And ultimately we have some rivers here also. This is the, the upliftment. This is the stage of youth and initial stage. And the central collapse. This is part of the mature, so this is part of the late, late youth. Drainage develops complex patterns within the central depression. So one of the patterns is what's called as annular drainage. So what happens is that there are series of different hardness of rocks inside this. There are series of different hardness of rocks inside this. This river moving down here has now witnessed headward erosion. This was going down, has witnessed headward erosion. And now on inside the depression here, there can be a okay, series of circular drainage here. If you look at the diagram, page number 183, which is the third diagram C. Diagram number C, dekho. there are circles of drainage here. We call that as the annular drainage. 
And in the mature stage, the harder rocks from underneath, they get exposed. Annular versus centrifugal. Annular may, there are circular ones because of variations in the rock hardness. Okay, so circular not going directly towards center. So it moves like this, another could move along the arc like this because there are layers of different rocks. So when there are layers of different rocks, the river does not actually flow downward straight. So it's a, it's a kind of some rivers like this, some like this, some like this, some like this. If you look from top, it looks like this. This is an example of annular drainage. Centrifugal may, the drainage is moving away like this from the central core. Uh, page 345 and 346, therefore, please. So 345 has the radial, centrifugal, and centripetal. And look at the next page. We have the annular. Page 346, Deco. We have annular drainage. It's like circular ones. So some parts of Bihar has annular. All of this ultimately goes and drains into centripetal. So in the mature stage, there is development of annular patterns and the central hard core of rocks now starts getting exposed. The crystalline core is now exposed. Then we have the senile stage. There is proper flattening. The, the relief is reduced, reduced almost like a flat penny plane. The above model is depiction of how Roman landscapes evolve through stages. The model is a hypothetical based on assumptions like stopping of tectonic activity for the duration of the domal evolution through stages. Not all domal features actually have centripetal drainage evolving into annular drainage. If we apply all possibilities that impact landscape development, then such models cannot accommodate the complexities. So just a conclusion. And to this, you can add whatever more you want to add.